What do you see around you? Uh, at first I saw a tank, like a an army tank. Mm -hmm. I saw an army tank. Tell me more. But it's not where I am. I, I don't know if there's a war on or... Mm -hmm. so um, I want you to slow down and just acclimate yourself to this place. Just take a deep breath into it and just allow the images to form. And look down on the ground and see if you can find that you have feet there. I'm in boots, big rubber boots. Mm -hmm. like a, I'm on some kind of farm, um, like a dairy farm. Mm -hmm. It's cold, but not too cold. It's like muddy. I'm on a farm. Mm -hmm. and Do you feel like you're male or female? Male. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. What do you look like? White, like tall, real rosy cheeks, like blonde, blue eye. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm a, a farmer, like um, there's a lot of hay and cows. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? Four, maybe forties or... Mm -hmm. I look older. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's going on there. What are you doing there? Um, just hanging out with the cows and there's like bales of hay. It's all tied up and it's pretty. It's like um, real yellow and gold and mm -hmm green, just really pretty countryside. Are you carrying anything or doing anything at this time? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I might have an axe in my hand for I don't okay. know why, but... <laughs> Let's take a look and see why you, why you feel that. Maybe I was chopping wood. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm dirty, you know, like I've got these pants on that are like wool pants, but I'm, you know, definitely out in the, out in the mud and dirt and mm -hmm. used to being out there that way. I like being out there. I feel really connected to the earth and the cows and the Land. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything significant about this where you are right now? Do you feel anything there? I think that there is a tank. I keep th seeing this tank, an army tank, mm -hmm. but it's not like close to me. It's almost like I feel like it's impending. And okay, so let's fast forward to that scene. That scene that you know is coming. Tell me what you see. I I think I know that this peaceful time, this really peaceful, beautiful life is is just a matter of time because they're coming and mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Just I wish I could keep things the way they are and I'm so happy and I know it's not gonna last like I know it's coming they're coming mm -hmm. so I know it's coming I don't know where I am like mm -hmm. so let's close that scene and let's go to the place where you live oh god where's your home It's just a little farmhouse. Mm -hmm. um, the barn is bigger than the house. It's almost like a little cottage. 
on the land that were um, we lived there and mm-hmm. very rustic like um, herbs and drying herbs are hanging and vegetables and let's go inside the house see who's there um, I think it's my wife she's like a chubby you know healthy rosy cheeks real rosy everybody's rosy mm-hmm. I think because it it's cold out but it's just like the fresh the air is fresh the food is fresh and mm-hmm. look, around, look around and see what's what's around do you see more family and children I don't see any kids I I feel like they're if they are they're grown and mm-hmm. moved out but we're she's cooking at the stove everything smells good wonderful what is she cooking some kind of soup or stew or mm-hmm. she's always standing there cooking and there's all this stuff hanging from this you know ceiling like pots and pans and herbs and just all fresh everything's so fresh Mm -hmm. the food the fruit we grow everything the cows wonderful yeah so let's close that scene now let's go to the next significant scene the one that you said you feel that there is something coming go to that scene I think there's soldiers coming up to the house and we knew it was going to happen. They want our, they want supplies. They want everything. They want our food. They want to take it all. Mm-hmm. How many soldiers do you see? I just see two at the door, but it's kind of like this is what we knew it was going to come, and we're sort of resigned to it. We've sat, stashed stuff away in the out in the barn. We've stored things. We've covered jars of stuff for ourselves but we just give them everything we can like whatever they want so we're trying not to cause trouble just Mm -hmm. get get rid of them as fast as possible what do these soldiers look like what are the uniforms like green everything is green and they seem real clean like all their stuff is clean and crisp their uniforms are expensive Mm -hmm. but they're you know they just want our stuff they're not really going to mess with us but they're going to take everything they can Mm -hmm. so tell me what happens next I I think they take our horses and we're not happy about that but there's nothing we can do Mm -hmm. but they did i think they just leave us alone they just take everything and they didn't burn the whole place down Mm -hmm. has that happened before uh it could have happened it could have been worse they could have killed us and Mm -hmm. i don't know they just wanted our stuff are these soldiers the enemy or they are your own people I don't know who they are Mm -hmm. we don't want anything to do with it it's Mm -hmm. we just want them to get away from us okay so tell me what happens after that go to the next significant scene Uh uh-huh It's almost like a shadow over everything. It's, you know, everything's different. Um, we still have our farmhouse and stuff, but it seems like it's been, I don't know, the light's been dimmed or something. It's mm-hmm. not as, everything's not as beautiful. And I think it must be after the war. Um, definitely not as much stuff it's just sort of like war torn Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But we're still there. We're still. How old do you feel there? Uh, maybe in my 70s, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a shame because it was just so perfect. And there was no, you know, reason for any of it. It didn't have to happen. Very good. So I want you now to close that scene. Go to the last scene of your life. Tell me where you are. The last day. I think I'm just lying in my bed and I'm just alone and I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. What happened to your wife? I think she passed already. So. Mm -hmm. so I want you to go now to the last moment where you're taking your last breath and just tell me what thoughts are going through your mind about your life. Um, I think it was a good life. I was, I'm, you know, done. I'm ready to go on, but it was like a shame that the war had to kind of put a damper on everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. So take your last breath now. And so go to the other side. You're on the other side of it now. And now you can look back at that life. What was the purpose of being in that lifetime? I'm um, just really being close to nature and earth and mm -hmm. natural things. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons from it, from that lifetime? Um, just how the war was such a waste of, total waste of everybody's time and energy and such a waste. Mm -hmm. Not necessary. Good. So I want you to continue on your transition. Look and tell me what happens as you continue on your journey. Where do you go? Um, I'm feels like I'm like running through a jungle almost. Mm -hmm. I can see the light through the trees. Like mm -hmm. it's it's sunny outside, but the trees are so thick. It's almost like you can't even see out and it's a jungle and I'm like running mm -hmm. I might be in a war again like I might be in the war uh, it might be Vietnam I'm running through the mm -hmm. how are you dressed in like that kind of gear the camouflage gear mm -hmm. tell me more what happens I'm running really fast. I'm I'm not sure what where we're going, where we're coming from. I mean all I can see is like the light of the sun is coming through the trees, almost surreal, like it's it's like a jungle, but it's also in a way it's just beautiful too. The sun when it comes through the trees is makes like a pattern. Mm -hmm. So it's like even though I'm running <laughs> for my life, I think I'm also noticing how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. So I want you to freeze that frame now. Just freeze it and just look at yourself and tell me about yourself. Um, male again, um, young male, just very fit, good looking, healthy, competent. I'm a definitely a soldier. I've got a gun, a big gun, all this ammunition hanging on me. I'm holding a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very competent. For, mm -hmm. feel, I feel real self-confident for some reason. Like I'm good at being a soldier. I don't know. Very good. All right. So let's continue with that scene and tell me who's around you as you're running through this jungle there's other people with me we're together there's I know that there's p other soldiers but it's uh, I can't like I can't see them I just know they're behind me maybe I might be out front we're running really really fast mm -hmm. are you running from something or towards something <laughs> 
That's a good question. Mm -hmm. We're running from something, Mm -hmm. but we're just praying to God we're not running into something. Okay. And I guess I'm leading them, so I hope I know what the hell I'm doing. But they're, they're behind me, and... Do you hear anything around you? You can hear the, you know, what when you're running, you can hear it, or the kind of the snapping of, you know, running through and... Mm-hmm. So let's go to the next significant scene to see what it is that you're running from or towards. Be there now. Yeah, it's bo- we're being bombed. We're just running from the... It's coming from the air and we're trying to get away from it. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happens. It's like I'm in it. I'm sweaty. I can feel myself really just uh, athletics, real fit, and like almost in a way I feel strong and Mm -hmm. good in my body, but, um, you know, this is not a good situation. Mm -hmm. Like. It's almost surreal because you know any second it's going to be mm-hmm. <laughs> over, which makes it seem for some reason like not, I don't know, not as important or not as serious. I don't know. I guess I'm not sure why I'm ta- not taking it more seriously. It seems like I should be a lot more afraid. I'm not afraid, but I just feel like we're so in the moment and just it's all about surviving there's not a lot of deep thoughts in this guy he's pretty much right in the moment Mm -hmm. physical much more physical not intellectual Mm -hmm. so let's go and see what happens go to the next significant scene from that lifetime What do you see? Uh, we're just really dirty, really dirty, mm-hmm. greasy, grease. There's grease on our, our face. I, I think we put it on our face, but it's just gross. It's dirty. Mm-hmm. Where um, are you? Still in the jungle. I guess we're still alive. I don't know if we're laying down now or like we're hiding. We're not running, but we're alive. We survive, whatever. It's just, you could just feel how dirty like you're never going to get clean from it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. how many people are with you um there's men there's a lot of men like uh maybe 20 mm-hmm. and what do you feel 50. that you are there i'm the head of their little team they're looking at me to get them out of there so they think i know what i'm doing and they kind of look to me to tell them what to do which I have no idea what to do any more than any of them, but I'm going to play the part. So they're not afraid. You know, I don't want them to feel like if, if I look afraid, I don't want them to feel afraid. Mm -hmm. So I pretend like I, you know, know exactly what we're doing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's weird. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell me what you do next. What happens now? I can't, I don't know what happens to us. All right, go to the next scene, close it down, close that scene down and go to the next major event in that lifetime. I feel like I survived and came at home. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Amer- we're American. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a very self-confident man. I mean, I'm really impressed with myself like mm-hmm. what i look like and mm-hmm. my body and everything but where are you 
we're back home in America because everything's brighter, it's big, it's clean, it's the sun's out, it's... Are you in a city or in, in a country? Where are you? Look, uh, look around you. I don't know where I am. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing there? I just survived the war, you know? It's like, I just, mm -hmm. that's all I could have done. We're alive. We made it. We made it out. I, it's almost like I can't think further than that. Okay. So I want you to go back to that war period, where you were in the war, and I want you to go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Go to the last moment of your life in that lifetime. I might have lived to, you know, I think I lived. I lived. Mm -hmm. so go to the last day of that lifetime. I think I lived into old age. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I seem to be in almost like a house, a nice house, a okay. big, I must have been successful after because I, it's a big house. And, mm -hmm. There's like a lot of people, big family. Okay. So let's stop right there and let's go to a significant time in that same lifetime that brings out the theme of that life. Let's see what that lifetime was all about. Go to that lifetime and find a spot. I am like a, I'm a leader. I'm mm -hmm. a really a strong leader. Yes. I'm a very competent person. Mm -hmm. And a big sense of, you know, responsibility for others. And what kind of work do you do? Um, I'm some kind of professional. I, I'm clean, I'm very mm -hmm. clean. Yes. The house is clean, everything is clean, because yeah. it's almost like I remember back to that time that it was just gross. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. Okay. Was, uh, very good, very good. So now let's go to the last day. I want you to see yourself the last day of your life in that lifetime. You can tell me where you are. Um, I'm in bed. I'm surrounded by my family, a big family. Mm -hmm. A lot of love. I'm like the patriarch of this family. And uh, it's time. It's just, I'm going to go of old age, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, as you're taking your last breath, tell me what's going through your mind. What are you thinking about? That was intense. That was a big life, long. Mm -hmm. But I did a good job, and I did everything I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to be going mm -hmm. home. I. <laughs> Any remorse? Any no, regrets? not at all. Just very. I want to get home. I want to rest. I'm tired. I'm so tired. It was a long. Life. It was like two lifetimes in one. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. So just, just go on the other side now. Let's see you transitioning to the other side. Tell me what happens as you take your last breath and leave. I can see the light. I'm kind of laughing because of the... Mm -hmm. It's up there. I mean, it's almost like a vortex of light. and mm -hmm. I'm so ready to go. So as you look back at that lifetime, what was the mission and purpose for you being in that life? Um, I think responsibility and duty and um, definitely putting others above my own, you know, ta really taking care of people, mm -hmm. making people feel safe. And what lessons did you learn? Uh, I, it was 
was almost like I didn't take it as seriously as I as I do. I'm not sure why, but I was not as deep a thinker. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like I was m more not a superficial person, but not a big deep thinker. You know, mm -hmm. like I just took everything at, for at face value. Yes. Yeah. So if this is where I am, this is what I need to do. I just did it and move on. Mm-hmm. So. So I want you to continue to light, and I want you to, from that light, tell me how you're affecting the life of this woman now. Um. Uh, I'm a really strong aspect, a uh, more masculine but competence, extremely comp competent. Like mm -hmm. almost, dumb. I almost had the superhuman feeling about myself. Uh, not arrogant, but just so sure of myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I just. And what could uh, Heather take from your lifetime to help her in this one? I think a lot of that self-confidence and just um, really being in my body. I was very present in my own body and very present in my own just living in the now. Whatever was going on, that's where I was. I wasn't thinking about the past, the future. I was right there in the moment. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend that that's something that she could do more of? Yeah. Um, she thinks a lot. God. Mm -hmm. It's exhausting. The brain just never stops. And I think just do what's in front of you, God Almighty. Is all that thinking stopping her, paralyzing her from getting ahead? I think it's just wearing her out. It's so much energy spent all the time. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of energy going out. Just do what's in front of you. Very good. Thank you very much for the information you've given us here today. And now I'd like that, that soul to continue on its journey. And I want you to drift and float now to another lifetime. We're going to go drifting and floating to another lifetime. Something that is affecting you now in this one. Where we'll get answers. Where are you? I want to say Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I'm a man again, always a man. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell uh, me this guy is, again, real strong, uh, physical, mm -hmm. dark you know, skin, beautiful skin. But, oh my God, not this head again. I think it's got the bird head. Mm -hmm. um, the dreaded bird head, I think I've got it. I, I don't know. Okay, acclimate yourself with that body. Take a deep breath in and feel yourself acclimating. I'm a... Uh, again, I'm a big man. I'm tall. I'm lean, but you know, I'm strong. Mm -hmm. And describe yourself. I'm in a body. I'm in a male body. Mm hmm. Look down at your feet. Start with your feet. Dark, big feet. Mm hmm. Um, describe them. Just n real masculine, nice little toes. You know, everything's. Mm -hmm. in order. I've got a pretty, uh, I've got a beautiful body again, and, mm -hmm. but strong, tall, lean, muscular. I'm wearing the skirt thing, mm -hmm. uh, but no top, like, uh, like a 
plate thing around my neck almost, like a silver plate. Mm-hmm. Is this an ornament? Yeah. Okay. And something around my wrists, maybe. Mm-hmm. What do your facial features look like? Oh, God, it's the head. I've Tell me what it head. looks like. It's like in the... I can see the image. Um, it's turned sideways, and it looks like... I don't, maybe I have a mask or something on. Mm -hmm. Describe what your face looks like. It's ornamental. Um, you know, it's all gold, silver, metals. Uh, and it's in the shape of like this long snout almost like. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's, that's my head or not. Mm-hmm. In the snout in what way? What, um, like what it goes of? out. Mm -hmm. It's kind of on top of my head, and it's like a, it seems like it's made of silver or gold, or, and it's like they flattened it out, you know, with a hammer or something. So mm -hmm. it's in the shape of a, this long, almost long, like a snout. Like a snout. Looking sideways, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why a snout, but. Does it remind you of an animal? Yeah, in a way. Mm -hmm. It's what kind of animal would come to mind? Um At first I thought it was like that bird thing, but now it looks like a long I don't know if it has like ears on it or mm -hmm. A dog. It's not a dog. It's but it's almost like that. But it's long. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it is. Okay. I'm. You know. A per. I feel like I'm a person though. Mm -hmm. And you're just wearing a mask. That part I don't know. If that's my actual face, like if that's my head. Mm -hmm. But I have. In, you know. I'm an intellect. I'm not an animal. I'm a person. Okay, so let's find out what it is that you do there. I want you to get your uh, inside of your head and let's see what it is that you do there. I don't seem to do a lot. I'm like a more of a person. Um, definitely not like a worker. I'm not doing anything that would get you dirty. I'm clean, mm -hmm. real clean. Mm -hmm. And I'm covered with jewelry you know this stuff is like even my clothes have jewelry on it mm -hmm. it's metal it's gold and silver and jewelry everything i'm wearing is that but and where is it that you are right now look around you are you inside or outside i'm standing outside i'm near the pyramids i'm in egypt and i'm like uh some kind of person that, like, I don't know if I'm like a shaman type of. Mm -hmm. I know something. I. So let's find out what it is that you know. I want you to close that scene. And I want you to go to the moment where you're doing what it is that you do in that lifetime. Teaching them stuff. Mm -hmm. I know stuff that I'm trying to tell them how to something that I don't know, but I mean, I did know it. How but is it that you're teaching them? Are you teaching them? They keep t looking at me for all the answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you feel like you're, you're some sort of a, a, a wise person? Yeah, like that. It's mm -hmm. almost like I'm teaching them. Mm -hmm. I, I could actually be in uh, some kind of ET trying to teach them something. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what. I've got this weird he mm -hmm. head. Now that you're in that, do you feel that that is your head? I think it is my head. Mm -hmm. So now that you're in it even more, tell me more about it, the feeling of having that, that face. It doesn't feel weird. It's like actually feels normal. Mm -hmm. And no one seems super bothered by it like they seem to think it's okay mm -hmm. um 
I have intellect for sure, big time, but I've got this body too. Mm -hmm. So it's odd. Muscular body. Yeah, this man's body. I'm in a man's body. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see what it is that you're teaching. I want you to really go deep now. Take a deep breath in. Go deep into his mind. Allow his thoughts to merge with yours. Allow the images to come. What are you teaching? I want to say something with crystals, like I want to share something with crystals with them and they really want to know too they're they're just captivated they want this information and it's a real warm you know warmness uh between everybody mm -hmm. trust it's um but i'm trying to teach them how to use the crystals maybe or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. now you had told me that you were wearing jewelry and there's jewels on you could these be the crystals that you teach about take a look at what you're wearing i've got this plate thing around my neck like a mm -hmm. necklace but mm -hmm. it's like uh, pieces of silver and gold and it's got big huge lapis and mm -hmm jewels everywhere god they're just like i mean uh, covered in it so i'd like you for you to connect with these crystals and tell me what it is that they're doing on this piece what do they do for this body? they use it for energy they're um they know how to use there's energy in the crystals and you can get more in the crystals from god like from god from source you mm -hmm. get get it and use the crystal to manipulate the energy mm -hmm. it's it goes into the crystal and then you can it's almost like you can shoot it out of the crystal too. Mm -hmm. So what is the purpose for you having all of these on you? Uh, I think I'm, again, it's almost like I'm really impressed with myself. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of, um, um, kind of like adornment, you know, and I, mm -hmm. I'm really loading it on. I mean, it's, I like them too, and they have properties, but this is more just ornamental. I think I'm showing off a little bit. Okay, good, good. Yeah. So let's close that scene behind you, and let's now go to another significant event in that lifetime that will tell you more about yourself. Yeah, I'm not a person. I'm not human. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely... A you know, part, I, could, I guess I could be part human. Okay, tell me more about that. I'm not from here, mm -hmm. and uh, I guess I just zip down to help them out and show them something, and then I go off on my way. I'm, okay. I don't stick around that long. So where are you now? I feel like I'm up in a, in a ship again, like I'm, I came down, I did my thing, and then now I'm going to go off and fly away or fly around or I really don't know what I do. Mm -hmm. So look around you and tell me where exactly you are. I feel like I'm in a ship, in mm -hmm. a disc. And okay. Are you by yourself? Are there others like you around? Uh, I could be by myself in the ship, but mm -hmm. it's like I belong somewhere else. And okay okay i might go so let's go let's go to that place where you belong i want you to see yourself 
in the place where you live, the place where you actually come from. Maybe I don't even really wear those clothes. I think I might have put it on for them, like Mm -hmm. almost like a costume. So what are you wearing? I can't really see, um, I don't know what form I am. Mm -hmm. Uh, It seems like I might have taken that form just to show them. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was more of a purpose for the form than, like, I spent any amount of time in it. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't know what I am. Like, if I have a body or not, Mm -hmm. I might just fly around like almost like just a ball of energy, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I can jump into a body if I want to. It just depends what I want to do. Okay. So let's find out about how it is that you acquired that body in Egypt. How did you acquire that body? (laughs) I almost feel like I put on a costume to go Mm -hmm. and it was appropriate to what part of what they would feel comfortable with was the body, the Mm -hmm. human body part and definitely the jewelry they wear. I really (laughs) almost like a Halloween costume. I was not making fun of them, but I really was, you know, taking it to the hill. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that those jewels made you a little bit more? Yeah. (laughs) okay so they were impressed Mm -hmm. and what about the head why did you choose that that that's just bizarre i i guess all the same reason like it was different and so they would listen to me or they knew that i knew stuff Um, Mm -hmm. i don't know why that head god how long how long did you spend there Um, Do you know how many earth years there were? It's not like I don't really think in time now. Mm -hmm. I'm more about doing what's my duty, what is my project. And Mm -hmm. you kind of take on a body almost like a costume to Mm -hmm. make them comfortable. And Mm -hmm. Do you manifest this body? I think I did. I think I like created it okay. in the spaceship, you know, then I come out and mm-hmm. ta-da, you know, I'm like, here, I'm the special person bringing them stuff. They weren't freaked out. They they accepted you. Yeah, totally. Like, I don't know if it's normal or. Mm-hmm. Did you speak their language? That's a good question. I I don't know how we're communicating. I might just show them. Okay. All right. I don't know that we're talking. So tell me what your mission is there. What is it that you're really supposed to be doing? I really wanted to help them. Um, It's, again, I have like a responsibility to other people and I, have a strong sense of duty like it's really important to me that I do a good job and this was kind of they needed this information now to do the next thing and so I just did that very good and where is it that you come from do you live in any place or do you feel like you're just uh, non-physical. That's weird. I, I don't know. It's like I'm in a ship, but I'm just also this little ball of energy. Mm-hmm. It's like I really don't need to be in a ship. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe I like the the ship. I don't know. I kind of just fly around and do whatever I need to do and then do the next thing. Okay, so let's go to the end of your life 
in that lifetime. I want you to go to the last moment of your life as the consciousness in that lifetime. Tell me where you are. I I don't know that there's an end mm -hmm. to this one. Okay. Um, Do you feel like you're continue? I'm I'm a just a an orb almost like mm -hmm. a just a ball of light and I just fly around. I, I don't know that it starts or ends or Okay. Do you have do you have any color to you? It just seems white. Okay. Maybe like a little blue around the edges. Mm hmm And as this uh, ball of energy, how do you affect this woman? Uh does she have an aspect of you or are you influencing her? I think I'm showing her um, I am a part of her or she's a part of me I guess but um, maybe not to take things so seriously mm -hmm. just that in some way it's all this act you know where I put my little Halloween costume on I mean mm -hmm. it's not that I'm making fun of people it's that I'm almost like just enjoying it mm -hmm. it's I'm having fun with it so you can be whoever you want to be yeah you create your own persona exactly mm -hmm. and so what are you telling her as far as advice just be you know whoever you feel like being at the t any given time it's it's all just kind of in some way it's all an act you put on the clothes as a costume you play your part and go on to the next thing it's not so everything's not so deathly serious you know very good very good thank you very much for the information you've given her today so I want you to take another deep breath in now and we're going to go drifting and floating to another lifetime that's affecting you right now. Be there now. <laughs> Where are you? I'm black. I'm really dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you a male or female? Yeah, I'm male again. Okay. Tell me more. I'm like this guy. I'm like a witch doctor almost, like a... <laughs> African, you know, really dark skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm in a, we're in a circle. We're all around. We're in costumes. Mm -hmm. And really made of. There's feathers and stuff in our hair and makeup. Um, I think we have little shells, like little shells we made jewelry out of. Mm -hmm. and uh, we're around like a fire. I think it's some kind of ceremony or a party, but again, I'm kind of like the lead guy, mm -hmm. and everybody's looking to me to lead this party, lead the group. It's... I, I think I'm some kind of shaman or mm -hmm. witch doctor or something, like a... Okay. So take a deep breath and get to get in, acclimated. Totally in that body. Feel yourself becoming one. And tell me. Yeah, I'm really strong again. I'm in a male body. Fit, strong, grounded, really connected to the earth, very present in my body. Um... I, again, I feel co competent, mm -hmm. not as like self-confident. It's a different, um, just really, really grounded mm -hmm. and, and connected. Is, and what is it that you're doing there? What kind of ceremony are you doing? I think we're having a party or something. Mm -hmm. We're just, <laughs> we're just like having fun. We're all dressed up. How many are you there? Maybe like 20. It's 
the tribe, you know, we're all, um, it's not like aborigine, but it's almost like that really remote, very, uh, I mean, we're just happy though. It's mm-hmm. not like you know, we're ha- we're having our we're having our own fun. Good, good. Yeah. You know? Do you see anything else significant about this scene? Um, I think I know a lot about the planets. Like, um, I'm very much in tune with the Earth and the Moon. You know, I can read the stars almost like we. Yes. We plan stuff by the stars and the moons and the, um, we're really connected to that. Mm-hmm. All of you in the truck? Or you? Yeah, we're s- totally almost like one with the earth. We're, super grounded. Mm-hmm. What beliefs do you have of the planet? Um, it's not really a belief. It's almost just like a, um, it's not like we're worshiping something. Mm -hmm. We're, we know that there's a cycle almost to nature and we understand the cycles and yeah, we might, it might be like a, uh, solstice or something. We're celebrating a some kind of it's something like that like a lunar eclipse or every everything that happens it's a big deal Mm -hmm. and you celebrate yeah everything that the earth does yeah if there's an eclipse if there's a full moon you know there's like a different we have a party for everything Mm -hmm. Uh very nice yeah we put on all our makeup and stuff very good yeah so let's close that scene and let's go to a significant scene in that lifetime that will tell you more about what you were doing there. I think I'm a healer. I, I mm-hmm. think I'm actually, I can heal people with um, roots and I know all that kind of stuff like roots and berries and you know what's not good, what you use for everything Mm -hmm. like a medicine man yes do you do any energy work at all yeah um it's real instinctive it's just um i think i just feel like i have a good instinct for whatever needs to happen Mm -hmm. i'm not sure why but it's almost like i feel connected I don't question it, anything. Mm-hmm. I just believe, you know, and it just comes to me. You just know it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. So what's happening now in this scene that's significant? It's like there's someone that's ill. I don't know if it's a child, but um, there's somebody inside that's on like a cot thing and they're sick. It might be uh, one of the kids is sick in the tribe and we're, we're, you know, we're worried and I'm the, you know, they look to me to go and fix it and heal this child. So I'm doing my thing, you know, mm-hmm. describe to me what you're doing. How do you do your thing? Uh, it's something like, I'm not sure what it is, but it's stuff from the earth, like leaves and Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's got some kind of fever, but I'm trying to heal and and everybody's, you know, there's a big expectation. Like they, it's not like they worship me, but they really expect me to fix this situation. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to, you know. Now, as you do this work, do you have any doubts in your mind about what you're doing? No, I think I feel some pressure, though. But no, I don't feel doubts. I just, um, you know, I, I'm i worried about the kid. I want everything to work out. Very good. Very good. 
Do you call any other energies to help you in this as a shaman? Who helps you? I just have, it's like God. I, I don't know where it's from. It's mm. from, it might be like the earth that I'm mm. feeling the energy come up. Or mm -hmm. You use the energy of the earth? I think so. It's just not like, it's almost like I just call it in. I don't even think about it. It's so natural and mm -hmm. it's a knowing, more of just a straight knowing. Okay. It's real instinctive. Good. Let's fast forward and see what happens with this child. Yeah, I think he's fine. Mm -hmm. I think it was fine. I'm not sure what was wrong with the kid. Mm -hmm. But everything's fine. Very good. Let's close that scene and now let's go to another significant scene in that lifetime. What's happening? There's a baby. Somebody's having a baby. Mm -hmm. We're holding it up. What's <laughs> the significance of that? We really like to put these feathers and, you know, a lot of makeup and every. Mm -hmm. We got it on the kid now. Mm -hmm. We're really into it. And we're holding the baby up like it's now it's a ceremony about the baby. So mm -hmm. what's the ceremony for? What do you do with the baby? It's like a blessing. We're blessing the baby or we're asking like the moon to bless the baby or something. I don't know. We're holding it up to the moon. Mm -hmm. It's almost like any excuse to have a party. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's everybody's happy. It's a baby. Good, good. Let's close that scene now. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Move forward. Where are you? I think we might have got invaded because I feel like I got st uh, speared mm -hmm. with a spear. All right. Tell me where the spear is. It's in my leg. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I feel like it... I didn't survive. I don't know why. It's in my shin. Mm -hmm. It went through my shin. We might have gotten invaded by somebody. Because mm -hmm. I think we just got kind of like, we were all hanging out and having fun. And we didn't really uh, anticipate getting invaded. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to that scene. <laughs> I want you to go back and see what happened. What was happening? I think there was some other tribe that like just came along and I don't know if they were afraid or they, we were not a boring people. Like we didn't even have, you know, any kind of weapons. Mm -hmm. We were ill prepared, confused by that, mm -hmm. but they must've been afraid or they wanted our land or something. I don't know. They mm -hmm. killed everybody. So as you're lying there with a spear on your leg, in your leg, tell me what's going through your mind. I think I feel bad because I didn't protect everybody. Like mm -hmm. I should have, I don't know. How could I have thought that one through? Mm -hmm. But I feel bad because I kind of was the protector and we just got annihilated. Mm -hmm. You feel like you let down your people? Yeah, I, I feel like I should have, I don't know, thought about that maybe, that that was a possibility. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel bad that we got killed, but it was such a surprise. <laughs> like it was. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the ones who killed you? I don't feel anything. I almost feel like they were just, they were surprised to find us and it, they were afraid. So they just killed us. Like it wasn't a big thoughtful. Okay. It was more of a reactionary sort of not necessary. <laughs> okay. So I want you to take your last breath and go to the other side of that and look at that lifetime from your perspective. What was the purpose and the mission of you being born in that life? Um, definitely, again, like duty and responsibility and taking care of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But 
the same thing where it's like, God, it was so, everything was so beautiful and perfect and and then everybody just got killed in such a violent way and out of the blue, like, it was just so unnecessary, the mm -hmm. violence, you know? Yes, yes. It's well, a shame. Yeah, what lessons did you learn from that? I, I want to say kind of keep your guard up, but don't let it kill your good time too, you know, all the good uh, innocence, you know, it's like just protect yourself, but don't lose your sense of, you know, wonderment and innocence and the happy happiness where you're so happy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good. So tell me what happens to your spirit after you leave your body. I feel like I'm floating around out in the stars and I'm just, mm -hmm. I really, we, I don't think we worship the moon, but we had a real connection with the moon. Mm -hmm. uh, almost like we did. We may have worshiped the moon. We were really into it. And, um, I feel like I'm just flying around. I'm kind of hanging out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So as you, space. as you look back at this woman who has an aspect of you, what would, what do you feel that it is that she's being influenced by you? Oh, definitely the sort of, um, there's an innocence, like a naivete almost where it's, you're, blissed out and you're in the moment and just happy and but you have to have your guard up too because there's people out there forces out there that will hurt you mm -hmm. and even if you're isolated it's you know it's like you kind of always have to have your guard up on some level but just try not to let it kill your all the good stuff too do you feel that she came into this lifetime with a little bit of fear about not having her guard up from your lifetime? It could be more of just that lamb to slaughter, you know, just mm -hmm. so naive and innocent and trusting. And, and then when something bad happens, it's just such a traumatic... Mm -hmm. Like, I, I think you you need to have your guard up a little bit more. Okay. Is that the suggestion you have for her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else? That, that living in the moment and just being free and enjoying life, you know, just the joy and in it is so important you know it's it's a huge huge part of it and the danger in keeping your guard up and always being on guard is that you lose that mm -hmm. so she needs to do a little bit more celebrating about yeah the little things yeah just yeah. be happy in in the now but <laughs> Tell her. Both. It's like you have to have both. It's a balance of it. Mm -hmm. And also being closer to the, just more connected to the earth and the seasons. And I think, you know, we're living in cities where we're removed from, from mm -hmm. some of that just basic instinct that we already know all that stuff but okay very good thank you very much for the information you've given her today i'm sure she's gonna appreciate it I have permission to ask questions yeah thank you very much thank you for showing her these lifetimes mm. would you explain to her why you showed her the lifetime of the farmer the one that had to give up all of his provisions to 
the soldiers. Why did you show her that? Um, it's really being close to the earth and nature, but also you know, be prepared. You know, when the soldiers came, they were prepared. They had stash stuff and they took care of themselves as best they could, but they also really enjoyed their life when it was peaceful. Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with her life now? What are you trying to tell her? Don't let the whole first half ruin the second half. Because mm -hmm. if your guard's up, too much or all the time and then you just squeeze all the joy out of your life and it's that part's just starting mm -hmm. well she had a question about that about how she can move on about starting a brand new life and letting that other part go it's already gone it's okay yeah she doesn't need to focus on that no okay good then you showed her a different lifetime you showed her um, the soldier from, seemed like to be Vietnam. Is that true? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What year was that in? Maybe in the 60s. Mm -hmm. Was this a parallel life of hers? I don't know. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Can you take a look at that? And see if she's she was living as a different person. Huh. Wow. It must be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. So this is just another aspect of her walking around in a different body? I think so. Okay, good. But he was a leader in that. Strong, life. yeah. Mm-hmm. Why did you show her that one? I think just so com com confident, competent, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. secure. Yes. And even if it starts out shitty, it can come out really, really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the first half doesn't have to ruin the second half. So be confident and competent. Yeah. Okay, good. What about the the um, ET being in Egypt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell her about that. Yeah. What was that creature? <laughs> it didn't seem to be a bird, though. No. Thank God. She's a little ball of light mm -hmm. flying around. The orb? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, she, whatever, it just jumped in that body. <laughs> mm -hmm. for the sake of what it needed to do. Was that body already taken by somebody, or did it manifest that body? It's almost like it put a costume on it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what was what were you trying to show her with that one? Um... I already have a lot of these capabilities, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like a, I just need to remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I want the higher self to answer these questions. And then she has one of these um, shaman. How did you show her that one? Healer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he he was a healer. Is she a healer now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we were talking before this session. She was doing a lot of rubbing of her hands. A lot of swirling on Oh. What is that? Healing. Mm-hmm. Energy coming through. Mm-hmm. Was she activating it? I think it needs to be expressed. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, she can feel it. So what can she do with this energy in her hands? 
a... Does she need to take any Reiki courses or anything like that? Or? It's almost like that, yeah. Um, it could be an aspect of what she does. Do mm -hmm. you recommend she look into something like this? Yeah. Using her hands? Yeah. Good, good. She asked about her life theme. She wants to know what purpose she has, what's her mission. I think it's duty, but also um, the balance of the positive and negative times. Mm -hmm. What is she supposed to be doing with that balance? <sighs> Don't keep looking back. When you're moving forward, just keep going. Just don't look back mm -hmm. enjoy what it what it is right now and don't keep going back into what it was mm -hmm. so you said that her her purpose was duty what is it she's supposed to be doing duty she what? did it already she did yeah it's her family she took okay. care of them already she okay. did everything mm -hmm. and she must move forward now yeah, but now she can have fun and have the good times, too. Okay. Good. But she needs to appreciate it and not keep going back and looking back in the past. Mm -hmm. it's, pa it's done. Okay. She's already done it. Stop asking why it happened. Well, yeah, because it's over. It's already done. It's almost like the two lifetimes. Mm -hmm. It If the beginning was bad it doesn't mean the rest of it's going to be bad mm -hmm. well she had a lot of questions about all of these individuals that have hurt her uh, all of these uh, people in her family she wants to clear up the contract see if there's any karma there can you check and see keep your guard up though just don't you know um, even when you're in the now and enjoying and appreciating the good peace times mm -hmm. just know that there are people that are gonna do bad things mm -hmm. but are we talking about uh, potential boyfriends or men in her life or family i think it's all it's all done with okay. the future is kind of a clean slate perfect so she doesn't need to break any contracts at this time? Does she have any? No. It's all done. Okay. Good. Good. She asks about her location. And um, is, is Cincinnati the place where she should be? For now, it's okay. It's mm -hmm. fine. Well, was she going to be able to find someone there and... She's looking for a dating potential, in particular. Mm. What's the energy like mm -mm. in that city? No, it's, it's not going to happen there, but... Mm -hmm. That's what she's asking. <laughs> where should she move to where the energy is more in line to her, to where she's going to find someone to match? I'm not sure. It might not be time yet. Okay. Would you tell her at least what it would feel like when she would know that it's the right place and time? What sign should she be looking She's for? She's going to feel more grounded in her own body. Mm -hmm. And then it'll happen then. It's not going to be a, a while. Mm -hmm. What is it that she needs to take care of in the meantime before she meets somebody? Are there things that she needs to put into place first? I think it will just unfold naturally. Okay. Getting closer to the nature. Mm-hmm. That's important? Mm-hmm. Is she close to nature now in Ohio? No. Not enough. Not... No. Mm-hmm. So what would you suggest? More time in the park. I almost feel like she needs to go out 
west almost mm-hmm. to get outside. And I mean, farming, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Almost like living on a farm. Okay. Yeah. So even if she's renting a place that would have... Yeah, there's something like, yeah, I see growing vegetables and having her own fruit and vegetables. She seems to be on a farm. Okay. Well, she's been there before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm Yeah. Good. Mm. Good. Mm. What about as far as money is concerned? She wants to be able to invest in something what's the best choice for her i think maybe this farm land it's Mm -hmm. yeah so look into something like that yeah Mm -hmm. where she can sustain herself exactly off the land yeah very good what how would that affect her job i think she's gonna just work for maybe 20 years and make money and then she's going to retire, and that's what she'll do. Okay. Very good. She has taken the course of quantum healing hypnosis, and she's done a few sessions. Yeah. And she wants to know um, more about that. She wants to be a practitioner. She feels like she has healing abilities. Yeah. She wants to work with crystals. Mm-hmm. Can you tell her about that part of her life? Yeah, that's definitely going to be a part of her life. Mm -hmm. Why did you lead her to QHHD? Uh, This is where you want to connect now. This is where we need to connect Mm -hmm. at that level. Connect with her or her connect to others? It's like we're we're all remembering we're all getting to that point again Mm -hmm. and this is a really good tool to use yeah okay good yeah should she be using crystals yeah okay like she's using now the yeah for sure can you tell her how the selenite is helping her right now it's making her feel more grounded Mm mm-hmm very good yeah good yeah Um, A question about her health. Would you do a body scan on her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what did you find? Um, Her stomach, I think. What's going on there? Um, Just anxiety, worries. Where are they coming from? Money. Mm -hmm. So what can we do today? To alleviate that? Uh, more um, root chakra connection with the earth mm-hmm. and feel more settled in. And that will take care of this anxiety? Yeah. Okay, good. What else did you find? Something in her throat chakra. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Feeling um, not expressing something. Um, She feels like she has to keep herself back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not be authentic? Right. Mm -hmm. She's real masculine. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Her energy is really masculine. She's been male many times. Yeah. She's now in this female body. She's got to tone it down all the time. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying. Um, She feels like she has to do that to do well at work. Mm -hmm. She can be so strong that men feel almost like she's a, (laughs) she's a more of a man than they are sometimes. And Mm -hmm. yeah, it can bring out almost like a a negative reaction. So what would you suggest? They're threatened. You know, they feel threatened. Their masculinity is threatened. But you can't, you, you just have to be who you are. You can't fake it or you're just not going to feel good. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure there's a man out there who appreciates that. Yeah, there will be a man who's more of a man. Mm-hmm. And then she can feel more like a female. 
Very good. Yeah. So she hasn't met her match. That's why no. the other ones feel intimidated by her. Yeah. Very good. Strong. Why is it that she had such, such a violent past with men? She brings that out. It's a, she's threatening their masculinity, mm-hmm. and they're reacting almost like a. It's a very, um, like almost an animal reaction. Mm-hmm. It's like male uh, locking horns. Exactly, mm-hmm. and they really. It's very threatening because she's a woman. You can't be threatened by a woman if you're a man. So rather than understand that, they they would beat on her. Yeah, attack. Mm -hmm. It's it's very, uh, it's like, you know, dogs Mm -hmm. fighting. Yes. It's, they're not even, they're not even aware of, it's just a reaction. Mm Mm-hmm. But uh, is there anything that she can do as far as reprogramming the way she mm-hmm, she mm-hmm, thinks? Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell her? Um, I think when um, when she feels more grounded into the earth and more at home in her own body, it's not going to be. I don't know. It's it's not going to affect people the same. Okay. She'll be strong, but she won't be, like, offensive? Exactly. Okay. Okay. As far as, as that is concerned, why does she swear so much? She swears like a <laughs> She's a man. She thinks she's a man still. She's mm-hmm. trying to act like a man. Mm-hmm. No, she wants to quit swearing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what suggestion would you like to make on oh, that Oh, dear. Um... I'm not sure. <laughs> is that is, is the swearing because she's trying to show her strength in a different way mm-hmm. instead of instead of um, being masculine? The swearing is kind of like the costume. Exactly. She's frustrated because she's in this body and she wants to think and act like a man, and she's not being taken seriously. So she's trying to figure it out Mm -hmm. and she's cussing like a guy to try to figure it out it's it doesn't work so what she's doing is not really working (laughs) it doesn't work now people are just backing off Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's not working okay so how can we empower her uh, by eliminating those swear words and still showing that strong side of her the more like she gets into her own body she's got to get feel like those men when they felt so in their bodies Mm -hmm. and then connected with the earth they were grounded all that energy is grounded then so once she gets to that point it's it'll just go away perfect yeah we had talked before about some anxiety that she was having in her stomach but she is also having some anxiety um, in general Mm -hmm. and she's having to take uh, pills for it Mm -hmm. can you tell her about that what's causing this anxiety is this something that is from Um, a past life or from an influence that she has it's like hyper vigilance just from being um, attacked Mm -hmm. and she's afraid if she lets her guard down it's going to happen again so mm-hmm. it's almost like you sleep with one eye open mm-hmm. is this part of the lifetime of the shaman yeah mm-hmm. so what can we do to correct that to where she doesn't have that influence anymore She has to find ways to protect herself that are not going to ruin everything else. Any suggestions? It's all inside. It's all meditating and Mm -hmm. going within and doing that work. It's all about being aware. Okay. This 
kind of were. So you're aware of why you're doing something. Mm -hmm. So bring it inwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. She volunteer for this life? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Or was she sent here? No, I mean, it, she wanted to take care of her mom and her brothers and sisters. She wanted to help. It, it was brutal. This is a this is brutal. Did she know her mother and brothers before and her sisters in a different lifetime? What connection? Uh, I think so. I think we've been around together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I could see what they were trying to do, and I, I did want to help. I didn't know it would be this hard. Mm -hmm. When you said that you, you saw that they were trying to do, tell me what that means. Um, this group, we've incarnated together, and we've been trying to learn different lessons mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think what it is it, it could be duty responsibility mm -hmm. but I'm not sure um, maybe my I knew my dad couldn't do it and then mm -hmm. okay so you you knew that ahead of time I think so okay is this what is uh, known as the soul stream? No, I think that's different. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Um, I don't know about that. Okay. Why does she clench her teeth so much? Uh, just anxiety and... I think just um, like if I can just get through this, mm -hmm. it's going to be okay. Just trying to get through it, trying to survive. You start working on her so that she relaxes. Yeah. Very good. What about the weight? Oh. Um, know why she's packed on another uh, 20 pounds. Yeah. Just keep, try to keep men away from her. Really? Yeah. What is, why is it that uh, the men are making They're her? violent. They're, they're uh, uh, she doesn't want to get any attention. Okay. So she's trying to protect herself from the Yeah. Thing. All right. Now, um, all she's doing is hurting herself, uh, though, by yeah. packing this on. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. Is it anything that she's eating or drinking that's affecting this? Or is this an emotional thing? It's emotional. Okay. It's fear. Mm hmm Can we work on that fear today? Yeah. Okay. Would you let me know why she's got all of those uh, rashes and allergies on her face? What's causing that? It's anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um... It's a survival instinct. It's her body reacting to overstimulation. Mm -hmm. Is this overstimulation something that she's doing to herself to keep herself busy? Or what? I think a lot of worries about money and mm -hmm. survival. Mm -hmm. She's been hyper vigilant about trying to survive. Mm hmm. And it comes out on her face and neck. And so well, how can we heal that today? How can we get that taken care of? Uh, Does she have any influence on her face? It's... It'll go away when she feels more grounded. Okay, so when she goes, starts going out to nature? Yeah. Okay. 
Very good. Is she using those rashes also as a um, sort of camouflage by any chance? It as could a, be, just like not be seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, the, because thinking about how um, that orb was putting on a costume, mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. seems like, she, and the shaman, it seems like um, she uses costumes quite a bit in her life, mm -hmm. in her past lives. Mm -hmm. Could it be she's using those rashes also to mm. camouflage her face? Yeah. She doesn't need it. Okay. Can we start today? Yeah. Using some energy to work on her face? Clear all that area out? And tell her what you're using so that she can feel it and see it? That's white light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'd also like to ask Heather to bring in that light from within, the light from source that's within you. I want you to radiate that light out while your higher self is working on your face. I want you to work on the inside too, bringing that light in from your heart connected to the source. And begin the healing from within also, knowing that you don't need to wear these costumes and this extra weight with you anymore. And let me know when you're done. Okay. Very good. She had gotten some information recently about the blue avians. And I know she didn't want to touch that subject. Uh, Would you tell her why she received that message about the blue avians? What was going on? That was the lifetime in Egypt. Mm-hmm. Did it, did it look like an avian, or was it something else? <laughs> it, it did, sort of, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a blue avian. I don't... It was just a costume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So it was seen, but not really the, the real thing. Yeah. Okay. And um, can you tell me why she continues to have these very vivid dreams? Uh, it's her... It's... It's herself integrating with her with herself you know her own conscious subconscious and super conscious mm -hmm. merging yes is there anything that she needs to learn from these dreams that she should focus on before she goes to sleep maybe an intention that she needs to set Just protect yourself in the light, put mm -hmm. Christ's light around you. Okay, good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't during this, this session that you would like to tell Heather today? I don't think anything. We think we're complete. Thank you very much for all of the help and information you've given Heather today. I know she's really going to appreciate it. Wide awake now. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Hi. How do you feel? Good. Yeah? Yeah. How did the selenite work? Oh my gosh. How did you feel with yeah, it? Yeah, I could almost feel it like pulsating. <clears throat> yeah. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it really <laughs> is. <laughs> For two blocks of stone. Oh my gosh, yeah. So how do you feel as far as your, your body is concerned? Your I feel like my face is hot. Like, oh, a, I feel hot. A lot of energy. Yeah. You had a lot of energy going through you. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. So, what do you remember? <laughs> I remember a lot of that damn bird. I was so afraid it was going to be a bird. It wasn't a bird at all. Oh, thank God it wasn't it was a, a costume. bird. I, isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it happens like that. It was just, what, it was just this little orb wearing a a costume. It's funny, huh? Isn't that crazy? Oh my god. How long do you feel you were in this little journey? Uh, maybe 40 minutes? Um, we're almost at two hours. Oh. Wow. How did it feel to be hypnotized? Was this your first time? or? This was... It was not my first time, but it was definitely the way you described it. Like, I did my mind was trying to get in mm -hmm. at different times saying yeah. you're making it up but the more i would just go with it 
it was, it would just, you know, kind of unfurls as yes. you're, you know. So were you the observer? Were you the participant? Were you all of the above? How did it feel? Definitely the observer um, mm-hmm. with the farm guy. Yes. And then the soldier, I was like, I could feel myself in his body. Like mm-hmm. I felt so strong. Never felt so strong. He was just fit. Yes. You know, like a a machine. Oh, Mm -hmm. my God. And Mm -hmm. he was running. They were running so fast. And greasy and dirty. Yeah. Uh Gosh. He was just a very professional guy. And everybody looked to him like just to know, Mm -hmm. have all the answers. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, he's in there with them. Like, I don't know. You know. (laughs) What about the shaman guy? That was funny. Yeah, they were having a great time. It was yeah. like they really, really enjoyed. They were so happy. They enjoyed life. They enjoyed the earth. Yeah, and then they all were of a having sudden, a great time. Then he gets speared. But what know. a bummer! I mean, the same thing. It's like the farm guy. They were so happy, and then mm-hmm. it was so unnecessary, you know. Mm-hmm. But each one of those lives gave you, yeah, gave you suggestions. definitely a theme. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. what do you feel the theme was? Um, well, very responsible duty, but then also don't forget, like, there's good stuff. There's so much good stuff. Yeah. And don't let, because the first part was, was hard. Don't let it ruin the rest, you right. know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't really spend any any time touching it because your higher self basically said to me, yeah, don't, don't go there. Forget it. Yeah. You know, it's done. It's, it's over. Totally. So, so I felt that really clearly. Yeah, don't don't go. Yeah, dwelling. you don't even know it. Yeah, you don't need to go in there. No, you don't need you don't need to you don't even need yeah. to focus on it anymore. Yeah. You need to focus on what's ahead. What's yeah. Life ahead. What is in front of you right now? Mm-hmm. That's all you need to you know, that soldier, I mean he really had it together. I mean he was not a deep <laughs> I mean, I my brain uh-huh. is exhausting <laughs> I've never thinking. been in in a brain that didn't think so hard it was really yeah. nice yeah he wasn't dumb he just was there was there was no it, it's like an emotional energy was not being wasted at all very efficient machine yes yes and it seems like you almost are trying to do the same thing yeah you're trying to get back to that yeah so was it worth coming oh my all god the way? yeah absolutely absolutely yeah you came a long way yeah (laughs) all men no wonder (laughs) so do you want to share this yeah yeah i mean can you edit the part about like my dad and my brother absolutely yeah yeah we'll we'll edit that yeah perfect so let me uh (sighs) wow that was intense man it was. Let me have a selenite. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah? <laughs> you know, I'm always in a trance. <laughs> Sometimes I'm deeper than others. We but... covered a lot of ground there. Yeah, we did. So have a seat. I'm going to okay. turn the light on. Yeah. And we'll have a seat so we can say goodbye okay. together. Okay, so we just had a beautiful session. Cold. You have colds and you're, you're hot. I know. <laughs> so it, makes a good, it makes a good combination here. <laughs> Give me some more so I'll cool you off. So uh, we just had a great session here. Um, Heather came all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Oh, H-I-O. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're here um, mm. doing a great session. She is a practitioner, also a QHHT practitioner, and um, we'll be happy to do sessions <laughs> in the future. Now that she's experienced this, so um, any other insights that you have? It's good. That's good. Good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we will be seeing you again. Heather is a, a viewer. And <laughs> if you're out there looking for a session, come on down to Miami. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can look me up at uh, albawyman.com. So see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> great experience. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.